I'm standing here at the location of the Nova Music Festival. You all know what that was and what happened on October 7th. I'm standing here in the south of Israel at the location of the Nova Music Festival. We're uh, near Re'im, if you know where that is, or near Kibbutz Be'eri, which was completely destroyed. Um, we're in the south, right on the border with Gaza, and you might hear some loud bangs. That's just artillery fire or um, tank uh, shells. But uh, come walk with me through the site of the Nova Music Festival tragedy. Let's walk together. You can see Yortzite candles here, where they're lighting candles. These are the names of 394 people who were killed here, slaughtered at the Nova Music Festival on October 7th. May their neshamas have an aliyah and may their names be a blessing you can see there are a lot of soldiers visiting here. Here's a hostage poster. This is the entire field where so many bodies were found and people were slaughtered. I know not everyone will have the chance to come here to be in Israel or even to be in the south um, near the Gaza border, but I want you to walk through with me and you can experience it as well. Again, for those just tuning in, here we have Yortzite candles where people can light for loved ones, for people who have died. Here we have a list of 394 names of people who were slaughtered here on October 7th. You can see all the names. And it says they were killed just for being a Jew and just for dancing. And then in the field behind me are all the poles with the pictures. We are down here at Re'im, near Be'eri, right near the border with Gaza. You can hear some planes and helicopters overhead, and you might hear some artillery fire. It's really intense. I, uh, it's very overwhelming.
I hope everyone will come down here to pay their respects. And may all the people who were slaughtered here have an aliyah, may their neshamas have an aliyah, and may we stand united.